Christ is greater. It's not even 40 degrees and we're out here today. We've got the car rally going and we've got our flags. <laughs> we're marching downtown Main Street just like we do every Thursday night. As you can see, I'm extra bundled up. My hat's falling down on my face. Um, we're in Bozeman, Montana. And <laughs> it's not like those rallies they have down in Florida, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, we've got people driving up and down Main Street, honking, carrying their flags. We are out here with our flags. And we love to sing as we march. Naomi, start it. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairie, through the oceans, bright with foam. Bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. <laughs> so, like I was saying, as my hat falls down my on my face, um, gotta fix it. I, we are fed up with all of the craziness, the governor's directives, and all of the proof about what's really going on. Not e not only with the virus, but in politics and the censorship here in the United States. It's happening worldwide because it's called the New World Order Agenda 2020. And I've been posting about it daily on Facebook. So please follow me up until the point that I get deleted. You'll find me on Parlor, possibly Telegram, and I'll keep doing my best to bring you the truth because it's censored and there are people that aren't doing the research they don't understand what their rights are. They don't understand the fact that a governor does not have the power to write laws and that you can't create any laws that violate any federal man, or federal law. So for example, Title 18, look it up. Title 18, Section 242, Section 1040, Section 1038. All of these are a violation of our rights and fraudulent use of a mandate and emergency order okay so look those up and get educated get organized and get out there you know what we started this um, in july as a small group and we've done this every single week we have people that are committed to the truth that are committed to being visible in the community, not just sitting on the internet and complaining about everything, which is an easy thing to do. And let's be honest, just posting on the internet doesn't make you a political activist. You've got to get out there. You've got to get in front of your county commissioners and take action and be visible. So thanks for tuning in tonight. I hope that this inspires you to organize and take action in your community. Um, you can text peoples if you want to join a group it's called people's rights um i actually can't remember the number that you text but i'll put it in the title for you guys so that you can text and get notified of local groups in your area there are local um organizers that are are um how do i say it announcing different um, actions that you can take locally to protect your, your rights. It's called People's Rights, and I'll post that in the title. Um, unfortunately, the left, which I now, now that I saw the censorship that happened today, I believe that the left is owned by China. 
and they are a very integrated part of the deep state and that's why we're seeing the censorship that big tech is doing and you can trace the ties back to china go ahead and do the research and prove me wrong okay love you guys talk to you soon bye